hey what's up guys i am here and today we have the hello watch 3 and we just got another ota update so in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to update it which features are working now and which bugs are fixed and which bugs are still there if you're using an android device i've already uploaded a video on how to get the latest ui fit app version and get all of the features working so you can find the link of this video in the description box below also if you are new here a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated first of all if you are not seeing the dfu upgrade button then try and binding and binding the smartwatch again with the application you can also try factory resetting the smartwatch or try reinstalling the qi fit application and make sure you are using the latest version of qi fit and if that also doesn't work try using a vpn after that tap on the dfu upgrade button and then confirm it so after that it will start to download the firmware file so make sure you do not leave this interface and if the upgrade fails reconnect and try again so let's wait for it to finish so now it has downloaded the firmware file and now it is installing it on the hello watch 3 so the upgrade has finished and the smartwatch has turned on it is the version 1.00.46 now so first of all let's go to the settings and here let's go to general and system so the firmware version is 1.00.46 underscore 230711 as the firmware was released on the 11th of july after that let me show you the supported languages in this version again i don't think that russian is added back again if you go to the display and brightness the maximum brightness and minimum brightness is working fine but the screen of clock still has this option that the brightness of the screen of dial goes too dim as you can see here that currently it is turned on but you won't be able to see it because the brightness is too low other than that tap to wake is working fine and the palm gesture is also working fine many people are facing issue with raise to wake but it seems to work fine for me if you talk about the app functions then first of all let's talk about notifications instagram notifications weren't working and they are still not working for me whatsapp business notifications are also not working but viber and other notifications are working fine it still has this issue that the banner notification doesn't go away and stays here unless you manually swipe it then in the notifications all of the notifications are working fine and have the correct date and time then we have quick contacts and i'm gonna tap on done you need to make sure that bluetooth calling is turned on after that open the contacts application and here you can see that the contact is being shown here after that we have album and the album still seems to work fine for me so i'm gonna go to photos and here you can see that all of the pictures are added the swipe function and also the delete function is still working fine for me after that if you check out the local music function so i'm gonna add a music file in it so the file size is around 857 megabytes so let's see how much time will it take to transfer the file and here i'm noticing something new previously this screen wasn't there when transferring the file from the smartphone but now it opens this screen like the ot update screen when you are transferring the file from the smartphone to the smartwatch it also means you won't be able to use the smartwatch while the file is being transferred so the file is transferred and it took almost 110 seconds or 1 minute and 50 seconds to transfer the file the speed has gone really slow since the last version before that it used to take only one minute to transfer this file so to check the transferred file you can open the music application and here select local music then you can play the transferred file from here i'm gonna tap on it and it still seems to work fine you can use the knob key to increase or decrease the volume so let's go to ebooks i'm gonna add an ebook let's add the ad blocker script for my website so now it is added i'm gonna open the app store here i'm gonna go to ebooks i'm gonna open it and the next page and the previous page gestures are still working fine for me and remember that it is an rtf file instead of a txt file then we have sound recording so let's record something currently i'm recording an audio on it it can record up to eight hours i think 10 seconds is enough so it will be shown here i'm gonna go back then refresh the page then i'm gonna open the recording tab again and here the file is shown currently it is downloading it and they are really not working on the transfer speed it is literally a 10 seconds file but still seems to take a lot of time to download and the file seems to work fine after that a lot of you still ask me this question yes you can change the time format from 24 hour to 12 hour and if you check out the weather application it looks a lot better now it does not have the vertical movement now which looked bugged but still has this bugged movement here and i still think that the weather application needs huge improvements after that if you go to the dial tab we still do not have the pointer dial option for the custom watch face and in the dial market i haven't noticed any new watch face so far and in the settings it still has fake personal information and it still has this ugly incoming call interface and when you accept the call you can use the no key to increase or decrease the volume the transfer button 
button is still working fine and it is transferring the sound to the smartphone and you can use the button again to transfer the sound back to the smartwatch again the mute button still only works for the smartwatch and you can end the call from here so previously we had an issue that if you accept the call on the smartphone then the smartwatch keeps vibrating even after you have accepted the call so let's try it now i'm gonna accept the call on the smartphone and yes the smartwatch is still vibrating which means the issue is still not fixed and if the smartwatch is not playing the sound of your smartphone then open the music application go here and select mobile music then it will start to play the sound of your smartphone on the smartwatch if you do not wish to do that then you can switch back to local music after that finally the sh animation to open the menu is fixed and it is back to the original animation as you can see here and the animation is looking really smooth and a lot better and one new thing that i noticed is that the clock is not the center of the menu now when you will open the menu the activity application is in the middle now you can scroll up to open the application and scroll down to exit it which looks really cool in my opinion as you can see here after that now all of the applications have the watchOS animation and when you open the application as well as when you close the application and it doesn't matter if you're using the swipe gesture to go back or the crown key so hi guys i was just testing the sport modes and after almost 30 push-ups this son of a thinks my heartbeat is 65 beats per minute which means that it still has fake heartbeat for the sport modes after that finally it is now saving the sport record this was the workout i just did then this one is the sport record when i was testing the pedometer about half an hour ago and in the steps the pedometer is now working fine but the ring still doesn't seem to work the compass is still not up to my expectations and there's still no way to calibrate it and still gives wrong values and in the music application you can go here to select bluetooth earphones option and when i was recording the video yesterday the bluetooth earphones option seemed to work fine for me but a lot of users have reported that it was not working fine for them and it keeps disconnecting but as far as i have tested it works fine for me so i'm gonna leave the music playing on them and let's continue the video and here we have the alarm application so let's set an alarm and i'm not gonna lie the am in the beginning of the time is looking quite weird and the alarm starts vibrating after about 4 to 5 seconds and it still doesn't ring it only vibrates and the vibration intensity is also not so strong and we still have this shit as low quality close text then in the stopwatch we still have the issue that it is not showing the accurate time one of my subscribers have tested it and after about one and a half minute to two minutes it starts to move the time two to three seconds faster and then the gap increases with time and the stopwatch still cannot use the crown key to start the stopwatch and it doesn't even go back using it in the app center all of the applications are now working fine so now i'm about to finish the video and the bluetooth earphones are still connected and the sound is still being played on them which means that in my case i don't have the disconnectivity issue and it seems to work fine for me so guys this is pretty much all from today's update finally the bad transition to open the menu is gone and we have the old animation back we have new middle item in the menu instead of the clock icon we have the activity application and all of the applications are not showing watches animations even with the crown key but still there are many issues like the smartwatch keeps vibrating even after accepting the call through the smartphone then the alarm is still not working fine it still doesn't ring and have low quality close text out of nowhere instagram notifications are not working fine since the last update yes the smartphone is getting better in a lot of segments through the ot updates but i'm not sure what they are doing that they are also introducing new bugs with every ot update i hope the smartphone can be 100 percent fixed as soon as possible so currently all we can do is wait so to stay updated on the upcoming hello watch 3 updates make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications i'll catch you in the next one until next time this is i'm at peace